Okay, Cherry Show's official version is here, which is Cherry Show's 2.7.5. A mere toll bill based on Android version 11. If you also have Redmi Note 9 as Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro. All of these devices are compatible with this build. You can install this on your device if you want to. Expected it's based on Android version 11 and yes, as expected, it comes with some Android 12 features, Android 12 volume panel. Android 12 style brightness slider and a lot more things. If you want to check out, check out the customizations, link for that video is also in the description. In the terms of default things, yes, it comes with the launcher, launcher pre-installed, which comes with some customization options. It doesn't come with the Pixel apps, which means Google Pixel apps are not present there. You need to install Google apps on your own, depends upon which you want to choose. But it comes with a launcher pre-installed, so launcher has some customizations as you just saw. I have also applied another icon pack. This is why the icon pack is changed it's from Oxygen OS 11. You can also change this if you want to, as the default launcher supports it. So why you shouldn't use it? Because AOSP apps, AOSP look or AOSP icon pack isn't that isn't that good by the way and in the terms of camera section the snap cam as expectedly is pre-installed if gcam go would be there that would be awesome but right now we have this snap camera but most of the users don't use that on their devices either they use the nx camera or they use the gcam which i also have tried and this gcam is working perfectly fine which we are using right now on our device and this gcam is mgc 8.1 or basically Google camera by BST and link for this Google camera is also in the description alongside with the video I have shared this some days ago so I'll try to provide the link in the description for this Gcam compatible Gcam which is working perfectly fine here I tried like in Nikita Gcam I didn't thought that it was not working I didn't thought that it will not work but yes it's not working at all so this Gcam is what is working perfectly fine you should try if you want to install google camera by the way anx camera should also work i haven't tried that but anx camera should work in upcoming videos i'll try to show the anx camera tutorial also maybe all all also know about that in the terms of safety net status it doesn't have any kind of issues as expected safety net status is not broken you can simply use this on your device if you want to and you'll be able to use banking apps on your device without having any issues but the thing is if you use magisk on your device you need to hide that as expectedly if you don't hide this safety status might be broken and you will see the banking apps would not work but yes if you use magisk you need to hide that if you don't use magisk safety net status should definitely be passed in the terms of cpu throttling test which i tested for five minutes i have the screenshot cpu throttled to 95 percent of its maximum performance which is of course not bad but some guys are not getting even a single kind of thing single percent of cpu throttling but i got it this kind of options this kind of ui here it's up to you i don't think so it's bad it's actually quite interesting by the way the real performance is what actually matters as i always say and right now i'll also say this that performance is actually quite good in the terms of other things for example the settings settings has different ui you don't get this kind of ui in all the custom rooms by the way as you can see android 12 style brightness slider is here which you can customize if you want to you have the option available for that header image is also there which you can customize so customizations are expectedly always there in terms of battery section i tried yesterday charging my device i got some heating issues there that's why the battery stats are reset now but i tried tested charging i got some heating issues i'm not sure why so maybe because of my room's temperature but yes there was some heating issues but everything else was just perfectly fine battery backup seems to be decent enough in the terms of theming section you can customize the signal and these data wi-fi icon shape all these icons individually which is actually quite good as you can see we applied the xperia icon pack xperia status bar icons signal icons which is working perfectly fine wi-fi icons you can customize if you want to as you can see switches are also from android s or android 12 if you want to theme it like that else things are basically same security etc has the same kind of options available for you fingerprint face lock etc bugs as i just told you that native video call is also not working i haven't tested that but some guys reported that native video call is not working so yes you need to keep this in your mind everything else i've already shown you these are the things you get in cherish os latest version in the terms of customization section it comes with huge customizations if you want to take a look at all these customizations go for cherish os video i have made some days ago I'll try to provide you the link in the description or in the i button and for a quicker look this is the ui which you get here goodbye
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air 